Hello and welcome. If you're just starting out as a data analyst or you're looking to switch into this field, I'll save you some trouble. My name is Patel Kolio and I've worked as a data analyst for over half a decade. In today's video, I will be sharing some of the mistakes I have made as a data analyst, mistakes you should avoid, as well as a few Microsoft Excel tools that you should master to be a top analyst. That said, let's get started. Number one mistake that I have I've made very early in my career is not understanding the context of the analysis. I discovered that that is a mistake a lot of analysts make. They just jump into the project without really understanding what is expected. So for instance, who is the analysis for? What are they looking for? Why do they need it? When do they need that information? So as an analyst, it's important to understand all of this, the context of this analysis, because data is just telling the story. So if the story is about costs, the analysis should drive towards costs. If it is efficiency, then the analysis should drive towards efficiency. When we don't understand the context of the analysis, we're bound to return a report that doesn't answer the question, the pain point of the stakeholders. So that's number one. Very next mistake that I've made very early in my career is overcomplicating formulas. Now, you get to work a lot with Microsoft Excel. And Microsoft Excel has lots of formulas. It has lots of functions. You can just go all out and crazy with Excel. So one of the mistakes I remember making is, for instance, I was working on uh, a project. I was supposed to produce a report to show where we have decent homes, non-decent homes. And I went all out. I had columns that had formulas pulling from another worksheet, from another tab, and pulling into a cell, putting all of that together. At the end of the day, my document, my Excel spreadsheet was very heavy because it was pulling from so many places. And if anyone made a change in any of those other sheets, I would have a problem in my spreadsheet or break. And it was such that very few people could actually use my sheet because of all the formulas there. Everyone was worried about breaking what was there. I could actually just get my analysis done with minimal formulas and it will be all right. So that was another mistake um, you should avoid, just overcomplicating everything with formulas. The third mistake to avoid is not using pivot tables early enough. Now, pivot tables, they are awesome. They help you get to the answers very, very quickly. I remember um, growing up, we had something called key points, key points for exams. And with the key points, key points were like bullet points to every question that you might be asked. That's what a pivot table is. It will just help you to take the analysis, the areas that are most critical to you. You can look at them quickly in a pivot table. Not studying a pivot table early enough is one of the mistakes I remember making as a young data analyst. Okay, the next mistake that I remember making is not paying attention to data cleansing. Now, believe it or not, as a data analyst, you're going to be you're going to be given data that doesn't make sense. And of course, uh, and I shared this in one of my videos, uh, the difference between data analytics and data science. Data analytics, you will be working with existing data, unlike data science where you might have to generate your own data. Data cleansing can be very time consuming. It can be very stressful, but it will help you get very good reports. Data cleansing might involve you making calls to colleagues, finding out what was meant by something that was sent in the data, finding out what each column means, 
understanding the data, cleansing the data, ensuring that they are all in the right format. That is one of the mistakes I, I strongly suggest you avoid. So pay attention to data cleansing. As a data analyst, you get to produce reports regularly, sometimes monthly, weekly, quarterly, thereabout. But one mistake I remember making is not having it automated. And you can automate your, your reports using Power Query, um, ensuring that you have like a system macros that can help you to automate that. It will help you to produce your reports quicker, faster, with less errors. Now, the thing is, if you have to do it repeatedly, there's a tendency that one of those times you'll get it wrong. So when you get it right, build it into a system and automate the process. That's one mistake I have made in the past. I strongly advise you to watch out for. The next is Microsoft Excel tools that you should master. The very first one is pivot tables. Working on Microsoft Excel will be a bliss if you understand and use pivot tables efficiently. If you would like me to do uh, a video on how to use pivot tables, please drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to respond to that. The next one is index match. Index match, unlike pivot table, can almost operate from every direction. It's like it's like the queen in chess, where every other every other element in the on the chessboard goes in one direction or goes as an L or goes diagonal. The queen can do everything. That's how I can describe index match. It's that powerful. So that's another tool you should learn. Index match. Next tool that you should put in your arsenal is Power Query. Power Query is brilliant. With Power Query, you can put information from various sources into a spreadsheet. You can take information from a MySQL, that SQL Server. You can take information from uh, different locations, from other spreadsheets, from other folders, and you can draw up a report in Excel, automated. Understanding Power Query will set you up for greatness as a data analyst. The very next tool you should know is Macros and VBA. Macros and VBA is awesome for automation. And as soon as you understand how to do macros and VBA, you will, you will just explode as an analyst. Yes, there's some coding involved in macros and VBA, but if you understand macros and understand VBA, you will get your reports done quicker, faster, with more accuracy. So understand macros and VBA. And then finally, the fifth one is Power BI. I know I said Excel, but Power BI is just one you should know. It's brilliant because with Power BI, you can create reports, dashboards that will just be awesome. And of course, you can link your Excel spreadsheets to Power BI and get an awesome result. So there you have it. If you have found this video helpful, can you consider subscribing, liking, leaving a comment. And if you have any mistakes that you've made in the past that you'd like to share with us, kindly leave, leave it in the comment section below. If you have some Microsoft Excel tools that you think will be awesome in our arsenal, kindly leave that as well in the comment section. If there's any part of any of the tools I've mentioned that you would love me to do a video on, also leave that in the comment section. Till we meet again, keep exploring. Bye-bye.